As always, thanks Thank you for very joining much. us. Take care. Thank you. He was the Central Intelligence Agency's top officer in the Middle East hunting the world's most wanted man, Osama bin Laden. He was on the front lines in President Bush's war on terror, coming face to face with enemies from Al Qaeda to the Taliban. Michael Scheuer is now endorsing Congressman Ron Paul for president. Now, that's the same Ron Paul whose foreign policy is, has been called isolationist and dangerous by most of the Republican establishment. But Michael Scheuer is just the latest active and former military and intelligence official lining up behind Congressman Paul, and he joins me now. Michael, it's a pleasure. Welcome back to Freedom Watch. Thank you, Judge. A pleasure to be here. Speaking just in the area of foreign affairs, I know you are as articulate on the economy and the welfare state as you are on the <laughs> warfare state. But sticking to foreign affairs, why does a former career intelligence officer who was truly at the front lines of the intelligence battles for the past two generations, as you have been, endorse Ron Paul for president in 2012? Because he understands the very simple fact, Judge, that every action has a reaction. And he knows that the problem we're having in the Islamic world is based primarily on the fact that both parties, without exception, are interventionist. They want to get involved in everybody else's problems. Mrs. Clinton is more of a warmonger than George W. Bush. She's trying to incite uh, uh, secular Democratic Muslims around the world to go to war, to civil war, to overthrow their governments. Uh, Mr. Paul realizes that, you know, maybe she thinks that's a good thing, but there's a price to pay for that. And that price is paid for by our treasure and, more important, by our young people's lives. Uh, Michael, should we accept the word of the uh, director of the Israeli Mossad and the prime minister uh, of Israel, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, that Iran is not an existential threat to Israel or to the West, and that if Iran does become any kind of a threat, Israel can take care of its own affairs. Thank you very much. Because if we accept I, that, that's basically what Ron Paul is saying, and it is the Republicans who are disagreeing with Netanyahu. Th that's exactly right, Judge. The sanity in this thing lies in Israel. The insanity lies in people like Joe Lieberman and John McCain and John Bolton and Krauthammer and the rest of those people, the supporters of Israel in the United States are Israel's worst enemies. They're maximalists. They face no danger, but they want to push Israel into wars. America has no problem with the Iranians. Uh, the Iranians are wholly contained. Their energy industry is on the downhill slide. Dr. Paul is exactly right. But if we attack, or if the Israelis attack Iran, there will be significant terrorism inside the United States because the U.S. government has, has not done a good job in domestic security, and it has not paid any attention to its borders for the last 40 years. What would you expect to be the conditions under which a President Paul would use the military? I think anything that the founders uh, said was in our national interest. Uh, clearly, we have to protect the nation here at home. Uh, freedom of the seas, I think if the Iranians are serious about shooting at a U.S. aircraft carrier, I don't think they are, but if they were, Dr. Paul would certainly defend uh, the freedom of the seas. The American economy can't exist without that. And other than that, we, I think we would mind our own business. But to say that Dr. Paul would not defend America is just an insane piece of, of, of uh, uh, dishonesty that belongs more properly in the Washington Post. What, what, what is your view, Michael, of a uh, famous or infamous, however you want to uh, address it, statement of President Bush, which is, if you're not with us, you're with the enemy? Well, uh, I, I think that's a, a very broad statement by a man who may not have been the most um, uh, thoughtful or articulate president we've ever had. Uh, America doesn't need a lot of friends in the world, sir. Uh, we are a powerful nation, a nation of initiative and integrity. And if Mr. Paul was in our leadership, we would have more friends around the world. Right now, we seem to be eager to cultivate enemies uh, from, from the Middle East to China to North Korea. And I think Dr. Paul points out very, very clearly that intervening in other people's business cr creates a reaction which is negative to Got the it. interests of the United States. Got it. Michael Scheuer, it is always a pleasure, sir. Have a nice weekend. Thank you, sir. My pleasure.